Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Bernard Tomic's parting words provoked major outrage at Wimbledon. A timid Tomic suffered a straight sets loss to Misha Zarev, his 10th opening round exit in 16 tournaments this season. Afterward, Bernie offered a simple explanation for his apathetic effort. He was bored. It's tough to find motivation, you know. Um, really, me being out there today on the court, to be honest with you, I just couldn't find any motivation. And to me, this is one of the biggest tournaments in the world um, that I've done really well in my career. And yeah, I just couldn't find anything. Well, that's some confession, isn't it? Asked about Tomic's lack of effort, a diplomatic Misha Zarev replied, let's say he's the opposite of Rafa. Well, you could say that again. Adding further insult, the 24-year-old Aussie said that he couldn't care less if he makes the fourth round of the U.S. Open or if he loses the first round. He says, everything's the same to him. He says, I'm going to play another 10 years, and I know after my career, I won't have to work again. All righty then. Bernie felt the burn from former champions, though, and even fans after those comments. Hall of Famer Martina Navratilova blasted Bernie on the BBC, saying it's disrespectful to the sport disrespectful to the history of the sport. If you can't get motivated at Wimbledon, it's time to find another job. Fans pay good money to come here and watch Wimbledon, and the guy shows up and doesn't really try and can't even be bothered. Navratilova says he should just stay home. 1987 Wimbledon champion Pat Cash says a lot of ex-Aussies are cringing, especially the guys who started this pro circuit. Former Aussie pros and current ESPN analysts Darren Cahill and Renee Stubbs both called Tomich's words and actions disgraceful. Stubbs scolded Bernie for being an embarrassment to himself, Australian tennis, and the sport. Hall of Famer Boris Becker, who got to know Bernie while he was coaching Novak Djokovic, told Fox Sports that he doesn't think Tomich is a bad guy, but he says Bernie needs a psychologist or a close buddy telling him the truth. It was a brutal Wimbledon for Australian men, as Tomic, Nick Kyrgios, and Thanasi Kokonakis all fell out in the first round. Moving on to other news now, Roger Federer summed up the Big Four's Wimbledon dominance in four words. Mind, fitness, tenacity, talent. Those are the essential elements why the Big Four have combined to win 14 consecutive Wimbledon championships, according to Roger. The 18-time Grand Slam King says a main reason why it's been so hard for other men to break through and win Wimbledon is because the big four play different styles, presenting opponents with different problems. And plus we play all very different, you know. If you just, I don't know, pick me, Rafa and Novak, how different we all play from one another for a player to run through the three of us is extremely difficult because if you're ranked lower than us, that's who you have to beat maybe on the way to win the tournament and it's just it just seems pretty rough. Ever wonder how the players gear up for Wimbledon? Well, Babylot stars visit a house that the brand rents in Wimbledon Village to pick up their rackets, their strings, their grips and their bags. The brand posted this behind the scenes video of Babylot stars including Rafa, Jeannie Bouchard, Dominique Thiem, Joe Wilfred Songa and Benoit Paire all picking up their sticks. While Rafa took time out to get some kicks in playing soccer with the kids in front of the house. Competition at Wimbledon isn't confined to the court. Check out two fans battling it out for a Wimbledon towel that Jack Sock tossed into the crowd. Those towels retail for about 48 bucks at the Wimbledon store. Check it out. The most dangerous spot in tennis is the center lines person at Wimbledon. The ball can really skid off that grass quickly, which requires some fast reactions, as this linesman showed during Juan Martin Del Potro's match. We know Eastburn finalist Gail Monfils can be a dangerous player. Well, check it out. He's going to leave a major mark on his practice partner. Oh! The Bryan brothers hit the All England Club practice courts, and a Star Wars battle broke out. I feel like we're repeating ourselves. And that's our news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.